Sige, lang ha. Wait. Yeah, okay. So, now we'll proceed to the next lesson. So, this is still lesson 9 uh, from chapter 10. So, uh, the paired thetas. So, for the paired thetas, the null hypothesis is that the difference in mean of your paired sample data is equal to your data. No. And the test statistic is still the t test if you don't know the uh, difference in or the variance of the population. So basically, you don't know this one. So the alternative hypothesis is that they're not equal for two, two, some, uh, two tailed tests and for one sided or one tailed test, you have either the greater, greater than or the less than mu difference. And the p value that the probability above t and the probability below t, you will reject the null hypothesis. And probability above t and probability below t if the value is less than your uh, designated alpha. So the rejection criteria, this one is for the t value. So the t calculated or the t statistics is either greater than or less than with the value for the alpha over 2 or negative t with alpha over 2, while for a uh, single se uh, single tailed or single side test, it's just alpha. Okay, so let's have this example. An article in the Journal of Strain Analysis reports a comparison of uh, several methods for predicting the shear strength of steel plate girders. Data for two of this method, the Carlsch hoop and the high procedure when applied to nine specific girders are shown in the table. So we have this uh, data set, two, four, six, eight, nine sample set, both applied for the two method and calculated, we calculated the difference of this data. So that determine whether there is any difference on the average for the two method. So this is the seven step procedure for hypothesis testing, the parameters of the difference we want to know and the null hypothesis is that there's no difference. So meaning the new difference is equal to zero and the alternative is that this is not equal to zero. So test statistic is your t-test and this is the formula d bar over s d bar over square root ng and rejection is that when the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Fine. Computation, so we calculate, we know the difference and the standard deviation. This is mean difference. We know the t-value is 6.15. So based from the conclusion, um, alpha natin because t.005, so p-value. So t 0 0.005 and 8 as the degrees of freedom it's 5.01 and the value of this test statistic is 6.15 exceed this value so the p value is less than uh, 0 0.001 therefore the strength prediction method yield different results so in particular the data indicate that the Carl Schu method produced on the average higher strength prediction than does the Lehigh method. D bar and S bar are the same, are the sample mean and standard deviation of difference of n random pair. So you can use this one for the interval. I'll discuss this one during our lesson for the confidence interval. Okay, now, class, what if we want to check if the variance of two normal population are the same or not. So for this type of uh, hypothesis testing, we're going to use the F distribution or the F test. So for this one, yung variance naman, yung previously we're discussing with proportion, we're discussing with uh, um, mean value, we're discussing with uh, value parameters for sample. 
So recall for the single sample set, if we want to evaluate your uh, variance or the standard deviation, we use the chi-square test. But for two normal population or two sample sets or so two sample statistics, if we want to compare uh, the standard deviation or the variance, we usually use the F distribution. Okay, so for the F distribution, so the F ratio is just equal to the ratio of the chi-square over the degrees of freedom of the two data sets. So ratio lang siya nung uh, uh, ratio then nung, nung so the function, you follow this function. So usually we utilize your F table for the test. Okay, so ano yung F table? So basically assume that uh, this has a distribution. Yung F distribution will follow numerator degrees of freedom, n minus 1, and n over n minus 2 is the denominator degrees of freedom. So, ayan lang yung kukumbitin natin. Kailangan natin makuha yung standard deviation ng data sets natin. Okay? So, for the null hypothesis, we assume that both the variance of the two population is the same. And the test statistic will just detect the uh, variance, uh, uh, variance of the sample set. Okay, now, alternative hypothesis not equal or greater than or less than. Then we can utilize the criteria for rejection in F value, compare it to your F critical, where the F critical is determined with the alpha, the degrees of freedom, and degrees of freedom. Okay, now you can stop the video and look for the F table. And you can check that. You have several F table in your tab uh, in the uh, statistical table that I gave you. At makikita nyo doon may kada alpha. May 0 0.05, 0 0.025, 0 0.01, 0 0.005, etc., etc. Then you have the B1 and the B2 or the degrees of freedom 1 and degrees of freedom 2. Sa taas yung numerator, sa baba yung denominator. So I leave you na aralin kung paano ginagamit yung F table. Okay? Now, let's continue. So, this is an example of uh, the statistical test for variance uh, analysis. So, oxide layer on semiconductor wafers are etched in a mixture of gases to achieve the proper thickness. The variability in the thickness of this oxide layer is a critical characteristic of wafer and low variability is desirable for subsequent processing steps. Two different mixtures of gases are being studied to determine whether one is superior in reducing the variability of the oxide thickness. 16 wafers are etched in each gas. The sample standard deviation of oxide thickness are uh, S1 1.96 angstrom and S2 equals 2.13 angstroms respectively. Is there any evidence to indicate that either gas is preferable? Use a fixed level with alpha equal to 0 0.05, meaning uh, the two gases are uh, the same or we can utilize them for the analysis or for the uh, etching. So the parameter of interest is the variance of oxide thickness for sigma 1 uh, or sigma 1 squared and sigma 2 squared. The null hypothesis is this one. Uh, they are equal and the alternative is not is that they are not equal. So test statistic is that we obtain the standard deviation ratio or the variance ratio of your sample. So rejection. So you can see here N1, N2 pareho lang. Alpha is 0 0.01. 16 pareho. So this one is 0 0.025, 15, 15. So hanapin nyo dun sa table yung 15. 15. And the value should be 2.86. Okay, 2.86 siya. Okay? So, if your calculated F is less than this one or 1 over F, ito yung sa kabila. Ha? Ito yung isa, pag 0.975, ito yung una. Pag kukunin nyo yung nasa left, you get the reciprocal of the 0 0.025. 2.86 ah sorry yung 0.97 pala so you get the reciprocal ito yung sa point 
0.25, yung 2.86, yung 0.97 is the reciprocal of this value. So, 0.3. So, from the calculation, we obtain that it's 3.84 kasi ang binigay ay standard deviation. So, you get the variance of your two sample set, then get the F test, and we obtain 0.85. Conclusion, because uh, your F value na 0.85 is between the 0.3 5 and 2.86, you cannot reject the null hypothesis at the 0 0.05 level of significance. So, therefore, the interpretation, there is no strong evidence has to indicate that either gas result in a smaller variance of oxide thickness. Ready now? Gindihan. So, yun lang. Okay, now, for type 2 error, you can use the uh, delta, uh, a lambda, this is lambda, lambda of the ratio of the variance. So, hindi ko na ito masyadong i-discuss, so hindi naman ito masyadong tinatanong sa GPT. But you can use this one to calculate the error. So, I think example problem, so hindi naman siya lalabas sa isa. Okay, so confidence interval, we discussed this also sa last time. So, okay, lang siya. Okay, now, for large sample test of difference in population proportion. So, pag proportion naman, you are comparing proportion of two sample. C test to, you use this formula. So, C test lang pag proportion. Huh? Okay, kung proportion yung kakal. So, null hypothesis is that the proportion of the two population is the same. And the test statistic is that uh, using this one. Okay, tingnan nyo yung formula na yan. Pareho lang siya. Ito, tsaka to, pareho lang yan pinactor out lang yung nasa denominator. And usually, itong proportion na to, zero. Okay? Kasi wala kang difference. So, alternative hypothesis, two-tailed, one-tailed, so greater than, less than. Okay? So, probability, calculate, so C value for the transaction. So, yung dalaw yung, yung dalaw yung ating. Okay, now, so let's have this example. Extract of St. John Wars are widely used to treat depression. An article in April 18, 2001, issued at the Journal of American Medical Association compared the efficacy of the standard extraction of St. John Wars with a placebo in 200 outpatient diagnosed with major depression. So, patients were randomly assigned to two groups. One group received the St. John Wars and the other received placebo. Okay. Okay, After 8 weeks, 19 of the placebo-treated patients showed improvement and 27 of those treated with St. John Wort improved. Is there any reason to believe that St. John Wort is effective in treating major depression? So, we want to know if uh, they, uh, they have a difference or may, may impact by yung John's work. But it's very difficult to, to say. We just want to know if may kaibahan siya in terms of the bar. Uh, in terms of the proportion. So, this is the seven step parameter. So, parameter of interest. Parameter of interest are P1 and P2. And we want to get this uh, portion for St. John Ward and placebo. The null hypothesis, they are the same. Alternative, not equal. Uh, the test statistic is using your C test with your proportion. Okay? So, for the proportion na uh, uh, maliit, to yung nasa, yung may hat my hat is uh, proportion 1 to, ito yung proportion P ha? proportion 1 uh, 27 over 100 19 over 100 so ayan yung uh, proportion natin, yung P1 yung uh, St. John Ward okay? kaya 0 0.27 0 0.27, 0 0.19 yung placebo, pag P hat, total so 19 plus 27 over 200 that's point. 20. So, we'll reject when the p-value is less than 0. 0.0. So, calculating the c-test, calculating your p-value. This is a two-tailed test. So, 1.34. Kunin mo yung probability between 1 minus 1.34. That's 0.18. So, therefore, this value is greater than the 0 0.05. Then, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, ang interpretation natin, there is insufficient evidence to support the claim that St. John work is effective in treating major depression. Okay? So, ito yung another alternative for calculating the beta error or type 2 error. This one is for two side. This is for uh, one side. 
alternate. Okay? So, or you can utilize this one to calculate the number of population. So, pagkailangan, yun yung kailangan. Yun. Confident. So, confidence interval. So, this is the summary, yung mga pwede nyong gawitin for two tables. So, for confidence interval, tsaka hypothesis testing, ito yung sections and formula. Okay? That's end our lesson for lesson 9. And hopefully, uh, you study this well. And if you have any question, just, just post it in the handouts. Thank you.